Shadow Puppets, Art Lesson with Miss Bully. It's Miss Bully here. Today we're gonna try out making some shadow puppets. So we're building off of some of the, the shadow scavenger hunt stuff that we did last week. And we're going to try to make our own shadow puppets. So let's get started. So this is what we're trying to achieve by doing this. We're going to continue experimenting with light and shadows in our art. We're exploring different materials and techniques. We're using shadows to make art. We're drawing using a reference image and we're starting to kind of begin to tell a story with our art. So here are some materials you might need. I'm using thin cardboard, like the kind that cereal boxes are made out of because it's easier to cut. I've got some wooden sticks, but if you don't have wooden sticks, you can just use a pencil or any other type of stick. Um, scissors, tape, markers and pencil to draw with, and a flashlight or a light source. So if you want to, you can pause the video here and go collect those materials. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an outline of a character or an animal or whatever kind of something of our choice on our cardboard. So I am using a reference image that I found on Google Images and I've decided to draw a dinosaur. So I am going to use the methods that we've been learning throughout the year uh, where we create shapes to block in the areas of uh, the thing that we're drawing. So what I've done here is I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing a dinosaur. So I'm just doing some ovals to represent the body, the head, the leg. And then once I have those light pencil sketches in, I can go over them a little bit darker. So you're going to want to think about when you're drawing how your shadow is going to look. So this cat right here as a shadow is just going to look kind of like a ball with little pointy ears on top. It might not read as a cat. Whereas this one, because I have the four legs all um, spread out sort of like it's walking and the tail sticking up is going to look better as a shadow. So I tried to think about that when I drew this dinosaur. I also tried to think about detail. How much detail can I realistically create? So I've decided not to include the dinosaur's sharp teeth because I feel like that will not show up very well with the shadow, a whole bunch of tiny little teeth. And it's also going to be really hard for me to cut out with my scissors. So think about those things while you are drawing and creating your characters. All right, once you have your outline done, if you want, you can add details like the eye and things like that, but those won't show up on the shadow. Next thing to do is to cut it out. So I'm just using scissors and I'm being as careful as I can to make sure I get all the detail. And I'm realizing uh, this is quite difficult, so be patient. Okay, step three is to attach our puppet to a wooden stick or to a pencil or any other type of stick that we have at home. So something to think about, I don't wanna uh, ruin some of the parts of the shadow by putting my stick there. So I didn't wanna confuse the four legs um, and make it look like the animal has five legs. So I've decided to tape the stick going out kind of diagonally from the side of my puppet. So stick placement is something that you should think about and choose intentionally. All I've done is just put a piece of tape on the back there. Any type of tape will do. There we go. So next step is to set up your puppet theater. Um, you can set it up anywhere. Keep watching to see a couple different options for how to create um, a theater to 
use your puppets in. All right, step five is to do some experimentation. Hi students, again. Um, so here I am in a different area of my house and I don't have very bright sunlight here. So I set up the flashlight to uh, attempt to make my shadows on this wall and see also if there's anything different between using the flashlight and using if you don't have a flashlight, you can always um, see if you can borrow with, uh, your learning coach's phone um, and use that instead. Hey Siri, Lumo! Okay, I turned flashlight on. Okay, so here's how I've set up this uh, shadow puppet theater. I've taken a stool and I've placed my flashlight on top of it so that I don't have to hold it with my hands. And then I've pointed it over at the blank wall. And um, I have my my stool is about um, maybe like five feet away from my wall. You can experiment with moving it closer the wall, moving it farther away from the wall, um, and if you don't have a wall, you can always do, you can always create your shadows on just another flat surface. So I can move my puppet closer to the wall, or farther away from the wall, into the light, out of the light, and see what different results I get. So I can use my two puppets, and I can also search through my house to see if there's any other objects that might create a cool shadow. Once you've done some experimenting, take a photo of a shadow that you created and upload it to the gallery. All right, thanks for watching.